Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a website using Google Workspace, and I promise you can accomplish this in just about five minutes. Whether you're aiming to create a personal portfolio, a business landing page, or simply a space to share your thoughts online, Google Workspace provides a streamlined, user-friendly platform that makes building a website refreshingly straightforward. So, let's dive right in and get started. Once you've arrived at the Google Workspace homepage, your next task is to select the Google account you'd like to use for this project. This could be your personal account, a dedicated business account, or any other account you've prepared for this purpose. It's crucial to pick the right account here because it will be permanently associated with your new website. After you've selected your account, you'll be prompted to enter your password. Security is of utmost importance, so ensure you type your password carefully to avoid any access issues. Once you've entered your password, proceed by clicking Next to advance to the next step. At this stage, you'll see several Google apps and services displayed. Keep an eye out for the square dots icon located at the top right corner of the screen. This is commonly referred to as the Google Apps icon. Clicking on it will unveil a panel of Google services and applications. From the multitude of options available, you want to search for Sites. This is Google's intuitive website building tool. Don't worry if you can't spot it immediately. It might require a bit of scrolling especially if you use a wide array of Google services. Upon clicking the Sites link or icon, you'll be directed to the page where the real magic begins. Here, you're faced with two choices. You can either start building your website from scratch by clicking on the big plus icon or begin with a template. If this is your first time, I recommend browsing through the templates. They are not only a significant time saver, but also provides some valuable inspiration for your website's layout and design. Now, it's time to dive into adding content to your website. This part is particularly exciting because it's where your website begins to take shape and personality. Whether it's text, images, or even videos, you can easily drag and drop elements into place. Feel free to experiment and see what complements your vision for the website best. Don't rush this step. Take your time to explore and customize. As you get closer to the finish line, once you're satisfied with how your website looks and feels, it's time to share it with the world. Look for the Publish button. This is a critical step as it transforms your website from a private project to a live site accessible to anyone on the internet. Upon hitting Publish, you'll be prompted to choose a web address. This is how people will find your site. So think carefully. It's often best to keep it simple, memorable, and relevant to the content or purpose of your website. After deciding on your web address, you'll hit Publish once again to finalize everything. And there you have it. Congratulations are in order. You've successfully built and launched your website using Google Workspace. This completes our quick guide on creating a website with Google Workspace. It's amazing how something that seems as complex as building a website can become accessible and relatively easy with the right tools. Remember, what we've covered today is just the beginning. Google Sites offers a vast array of features and customization options, so don't hesitate to explore further. Thank you for watching and happy website building.